Hello. Hello and welcome to another video. Now this one's a bit different to the tip two videos I usually make as the gameplay has nothing to do with what I'm saying but I thought this was an interesting video idea so I'm stealing it. Okay let's jump in with it. So how would I spend 10,000 British pounds in TF2? Now I stole this video from Spikey Mikey his video really interested me so go check out his video too but first how would I spend it? So uh, let's say I win the lotto and I have 10k to spend on TF2. I mean it isn't out of the realms of possibilities. It could very well happen and if it does happen I'm not saying this will actually happen as this is under the grounds that I have nothing in my backpack. But what would I cop? Thinking emoji. Gotta think about this. So before I get started I'd like to mention this is all down to personal preference. I'm not one to whack three unusuals onto a class and call it a day. That's not really how I roll. If you roll it like that, that's, that's completely fine, but that's personally not my taste. I like to craft loadouts that I like the look of without focusing on effects too much. Now, if there's an unusual there that works really well, I will use that unusual. For the purposes of this video, we'll be using marketplace.tf where applicable, and if not, backpack.tf prices. And uh, we'll use that to work out the prices. And with that being said, let's spend some cash. So first off, I'm going to focus on the Pyro. That's my favourite class. It's the class I mean, and um, I think he's got some really sick cosmetics. There are many sets I wish I could do, and I wish we had a fourth cosmetic slot so I could make the ultimate loadout, but I'm afraid that's not the case right now. So we're just going to focus on the Pyro. I'm currently using a Disco Beatdown Handyman's Handle, which I received as a birthday present a few years ago, and I'm a big fan of it. But for the purposes of this video, I've made myself choose items I don't already own most of the time. So I was scrolling through marketplace.tf looking at cool unusuals and my favourite unusual effect is the purple energy. I'm, I have a purple energy soldier hat which I'm a big fan of so anything purple energy is right up my alley. So I looked for a nice handyman's handle. It's not the most expensive hat to find unusual effects for, I will say that and I do have 10k but a purple energy handyman's handle costs £32 at time of recording. I know it's not a lot of money when I have 10k to spend but it's that I want and it's one of my favourite effects and one of my favourite hats so it's just a no brainer really. Next I want to pick up a multi-class item and for this I've chosen an Orbiting Fire Virtual Viewfinder. Now I couldn't find one of these on marketplace.tf but pricing is around 382 quid using backpack to df prices. This effect works well with the handyman's handle and is generally a cool cosmetic. Now if I'm going to use multiple cosmetics in a set I want them to work well together and I feel like Orbiting Fire and Purple Energy work well together. My third third cosmetic would be a strange dead of night roughly around 16 quid i already have one but i'm just such a fan of this cosmetic that i've got to i've got to trick it on and seeing as my backpack is empty i might as well get another one right next i was planning on what spiky mikey did buying a bunch of professional killstreak australians now i don't want all australians as some of them i just won't use so i feel like it's a kind of waste of money even though i do have 10k so i'm not going to purchase all of them but I would use a majority, so they equal around 825 quid. And compared to what I've been spending, that's quite a big chunk of money. Alright, let's add a golden frying pan. A golden pan is an item I dream of getting my hands on. If I got my hands on a golden frying pan, you would never hear the end of it, I'm telling you. That's currently priced at whew, 2,269 quid. Jesus Christ. I mean, is a nice weapon, is unique, but Jesus Christ, that's a lot of money. So let's finish off my pyro loadout with a secondary. I'm not going to do this for all loadouts. Just the pyro loadout as I my main, a strange festive shotgun, which I also own and I unbox in a video. Let's use this one with this one. I like the festive weapons. I've been looking forward to using the naughty crates. Nice crates, not so much. Oh, oh, it's strange. Yes, thank, thank you. But I'm gonna have to buy it back. So that's about seventeen pounds with a professional kill streak kit, which I, which I don't have yet, but I am working on getting one. So if you can help me out, hit me up. So now that we've completed this lovely pyro loadout, we've spent around 3,541. That is including all Australians, mind you. And that leaves us with a cool 6,549 to complete other loadouts. Whew! Jesus, maybe I need to pick more expensive unusuals. So my second most played class is the Soldier. So let's do that man's next. I was planning on usual using the Virtual Viewfinder, but I couldn't find a nice hat that would work, in my opinion. So I decided to drop that from the soldier loadout and start anew. Now this loadout only makes use of one unusual, but I still really like the little set I've put together, so let's run through it. Success. 
the unusual I'm going to use is a Time Warp Warpig. Now I chose this unusual mostly because it's an effect I already like, but the hat is also cool, and that set me back a nice 265 quid. Following this, I would slurp up a strange Matraman, costing me £5. The Matraman is a great multi-class cosmetic, though it's one in multiple sets, and I feel like this one I've rustled up looks very nice. Finishing up this set, I've chosen to go with a strange veteran's attire. It's one of my favourite soldier coats. It looks nice. I've got one in my current backpack, and these sets together they create a nice looking soldier set that I'm proud to have, and I think it's very cool. So after these two sets have been completed, they're both going to make use of Australian weapons and the strange festive shotgun that I now have. So let's move on to Scout. Now he's my third most played class, but I haven't broken 100 hours in him yet, which tells you how much I play Soldier and Pyro in comparison to Scout. Anywho, let's move on to what cosmetics I'm going to get for him. Now there are nice, loads of nice cosmetics for the Scout, and I don't want to fall into like a certain stereotype, because I don't really play Scout that much, but I, I do think that if I was usually unusual it'd get off the impression that I'm a good Scout player. I'm not, but I still like to flex. So you can see where this is going. First thing first, Hat. What hat should I get for the scout? For this I chose another multi-class cosmetic. An unusual prehistoric pullover with the effect Nether Trail. A very nice effect, costing me 156 quid. I chose this effect as it works well with the second one that I went with. Now this is a too unusual set. That cosmetic is an unusual bunk boy, yet again with purple energy. I know, you might hear purple energy a lot in this video. These two unusual effects complement one another amazingly. It costs 476 quid, but damn, a look at this combo. When it came to choosing what effect I wanted to use, I was torn between two different sets. Green Energy and Eldritch Flame, or Purple Energy and Nether Trail. Seeing as Purple Energy is my favourite effect, <laughs> that one clearly won out. And then to finish off this loadout, I decided to go with a Strange Jungle Jersey, setting me back £10. In terms of Scout Jackets, I was sport for choice, there were so many that I liked. But in the end I settled for the Jungle Jersey, as it's one I don't own yet and I do think it looks quite nice. It worked the best in my opinion, so here it is. It's probably one of my most flashy sets that I've made. So after all this, we are left with 5,629 quid. We've almost spent half of the 10k with Magically Obtained, PayPal linked in the description, and now I'm going to quickly run through the six remaining classes. Sniper. Time Warp Blick Dota's Lid, 159 quid. Strange Down Under Duster, two pounds. Bruiser's Bandana, nine pounds. Boom, 170 quid. Engineer. Purple Energy Texas 10 gallon, 111 pounds. Strange Old Patron, 29 pence. Strange Dad Duds, 4 pounds. Boom, 115 pounds, 29 pence. Demo, Searing Plasma Legendary Lid, 262. Strange Dynamite Abs, 5 pounds. Strange Cool Breeze, 13 pounds. Boom, 280 quid. Spy, Ethereal Essence, A Hat to Kill For, 111 pounds. Strange Lurker's Leathers, 67 pence. Strange Dead Head, 43 quid. Boom, 154, 67. Heavy, Purple Energy Nuke. 100 quid. Strange Cuban Bristle Crisis, 31 pence. Strange Siberian Tiger Stripe, 87 pence. Strange Minimal Wear Mr. Cuddles, 12 pounds. Villainous Violet Singularity Professional Kill Street Kit, 39 pounds. Boom, 152.18. Medic. Sunbeam's Prussian Prickle Hobe, 96 quid. Orbiting Fire Blighted Beak, 114 quid. Strange Scourge of the Sky, 3 quid. Specialized Strange Hot Spark of Life Minigun, field tested, 151 quid. Boom, 364 quid. There we go. I noticed the Heavy and the Medic have specific weapons that I was planning on getting with them. An unusual Medigun and a professional Killstreak Mr. Cuddles minigun, which is my favourite skin for the minigun. No skin will top it, ever, in the history of TF2. Don't at me. So after all that, I'm left with around 4,392 quid. That's actually quite a lot. Wow. I thought spending 10k in TF2 would be much easier, but I realised I was going for quite low priced unusuals. So that's a lot more than I expected to have left. Uh, okay. So I'm going to copy Spike Mike again, and I'm going to buy a thousand keys. I liked his idea, and I could see myself doing it myself if I had 10 grand to spend. So that would set me back about 1,395 quid, which I could then trade for unusuals to give away to you guys. On pond milestones and whatnot. Unusual giveaway, 1,000 subscribers, if we get there. So that leaves me with £2,977. Now this was a lot harder than I expected it would be. And with the remainder, I'd probably fully trick out my MVM loadouts to have bots destroyed strange parts and all their weapons, as well as paints for cosmetics and any name slash description tags that I would need. I would work that out, but that is too much for me. So we'll assume it's, say, like a chunk of money. I'd just leave it there. Wait, valve of money? And I have 3k left. Hmm, maybe I could use this money to tempt Valve into, into making another major update. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. 
as I mentioned, unusual giveaway, 1,000 subscribers, should we get there? And yeah, comment down below how you'd spend 10k, I'd love to hear how you uh, go about spending all this money. There are a lot of unusuals that I could have bought, and that I'm, I may change up if this becomes a reality, which I don't see it becoming a reality, but if it did, then who knows? But yeah, I've been over the giant tree, hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you're having a great day, and peace. Hey, oh. I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy, I just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.